Hey, how's it going you guys? My name is Demise and this video is going to be a little bit different than most videos that I make and I'm going to try to explain the situation behind the development of Terraria on all the different platforms that is available on at this moment and possibly in the future. I'm sure that most of you will probably already know most of what I'm going to be saying, but there is still a lot of people out there that just don't know exactly who's working on what version and why there is such a huge difference between the mobile platforms and the PC version and also the console version. Relogic is the indie company that started with Redigit or rather Reddigit, which I do believe is the correct pronunciation, but let's just go with Red from now on. Red for a long time has been the main programmer, if not the only one, but at the start of this year it was revealed that Relogic has hired on two more developers who are Eurazer and Soulsun, which I'm probably not pronouncing either of those correctly, but yeah, they've been working together beginning around with the 1.2.3 update. It was later revealed that once the 1.3 update comes out, which is going to be the last major update to the game, Red will move on to his next game and Eurazer and Soulsun will continue on Terraria with smaller updates, but of course Red is still going to be around and consult on the future of Terraria but in a much more hands-off approach. I personally think that this is a good move as Terraria has far exceeded anyone's expectations in terms of content as it has quite a long life of huge free new updates over the past few years and it's time for Red to work on his next big project and expand his creativity to another awesome new game. There is also currently a development of the Mac port of Terraria which seems to have gone well as they have now moved on to working on a Linux version which shouldn't be too different as they are both based on the Unix operating system so we'll hopefully be seeing support for both of these in the near future which could possibly be as soon as the 1.3 update. So then we have the other platforms which all fall under the publisher of 5 of 5 games but there are different development teams for the console versions and the mobile versions. Engine Software is the development team behind the Xbox 360, PS3, and Vita versions of Terraria, as well as the Xbox One and PS4 versions which have been announced as coming later this year in 2014. The console version of Terraria is usually several months behind the PC version as Engine Software really can't start porting over the new content until it has been finalized and released on the PC first. They also have to port it to two different platforms which are the PlayStation and Xbox versions of course and this also adds more time before updates are actually released as they not only have to program it for two different platforms but then there is also a certification process by Sony and Microsoft that it has to go through which adds an additional week or two if all goes well. CodeGlue is the other development team and they work on the mobile versions of Terraria which include iOS and Android devices but they are also said to be working on a Windows Phone version. Currently, the main reasoning for the lack of major updates on the mobile platforms has been the hardware limitations, as it is quite difficult to test and make sure that the game can be supported on literally hundreds if not thousands of different phones and tablets, which I'm sure is quite a daunting task to take on. But it seems that they have at least figured out hard mode, so that will be coming soon, and hopefully they'll begin working on 1.2 and later content as well. One last thing to note is that the additional console features that were added during Red's temporary hiatus from development on Terraria before 1.2 will more than likely never be coming to the PC version as it doesn't fit in very well now that things have changed so much after 1.2, but the mobile versions will be getting these features as they do fall under 505 games and have been confirmed by recent screenshots that were released featuring Okram. And of course we've already seen console exclusive enemies and items such as the pets that were added in earlier updates. So if you see anybody asking why Red hasn't updated consoles with the latest PC version just yet, or if Red's departure from development of Terraria will affect future ports of the mobile or console versions, make sure to send them to this video which will hopefully clear up any confusion between the different development teams of Terraria, which extends across almost all platforms available today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos, and yeah, have a nice day.